The Collaborative Sciences Project (CSP) allows diploma program students to collaborate in interdisciplinary teams, addressing the world issues through the scientific method. In the SVP, the CSP includes an experiential field trip to Pramka Island, part of the Thousand Islands National Park managed by the Ministry of Environment and Forestry. This trip offers students hands-on learning about ocean ecosystem conservation and community engagement. Sixty-three students are divided into six groups, each focusing on one of three conservation areas – coral reef conservation, mangrove plantation, and turtle breeding. stages of activity on the island, data collection which may involve interviews or experiments, data processing, presentation, and reflection. So for today, we're looking at the nearby coral ecosystem and find out, um, do some sampling. We took out some waters to uh, test uh, later on. Yeah, so I also uh, dived and I did a little bit of coral watching and you know, it was really fun. It was a really cool experience. I get to see all these different corals and you know, they, ha they all have their different structures and everything. So yeah, it was a really thrilling experience, especially diving. So for tomorrow, we're going to take the boat and go to a deeper site where we can dive deeper and explore more uh, corals that are different to those near the surface. What about you? Yeah, likewise. Basically, uh, Kyla and I are, are going to explore on a boat and we're going to dive. And I am actually going to prepare my research question for ESS, which is basically I'm going to measure for my secondary research is we are going to measure and we're going to compare how does the growth of the corals uh, grow exponentially with the tourists coming, so yeah. Hello, my name is Eileen. Hi, my name is Nakesha. And we are from CSP Group 5. Yeah. So today um, we visit to um, Turtle Breeding Place in Pramuka Island. And we got so many answers for our research um, from for our CSP project. Next, we also need to think on what we should create for the future turtle cons conservation here in Pulau Pramuka. To end it, we're gonna create the final product to recap all of the things that we have done in Pulau Pramuka on the last day.
years from Group 4. My name is C. My name is Dimas. So today we've got all the information about mangrove plantation from how does it grow, how to maintain them, how to make them sustainable. We've got all the inform information related to all the species in Kamuka Island. So we are collecting the faunas found around the mangrove area and it also proves that uh, how, how sustainable um, the habitat is for the faunas uh, itself. So as tomorrow we're actually we're planning to finish all the things that we need to do by today so our strategy is, to, is um, dividing the, our group into two because they all have some kind of like similarities in terms of like measuring something. So we hope that by today we um, finish all of the data collection and tomorrow we're going to um, just prepare for our presentation. Yes, because we are going to have a presentation to all of the other groups and teachers tomorrow night. So after two days, we finally gather all of our data from our investigation and research here in Pulau Pramuka. Um, each of the groups gather together in each of their meeting points to create a presentation regarding to their group focus. For my group, we focus on the coral reefs. So then, me and my team, we decided to create mainly a video product to summarize what happened during the investigation, during the research, and also what we found during that research. Overall, I think the presentation went well. All the groups had quite uh, solid presentations. Collaboration was, I think it was quite good. And yeah, everything was quite great. It went pretty well, actually. Although Pashan kept asking me all of these questions regarding the experiment, and it ended up in me admitting these mistakes that we made during the experiment, I was okay with that. Because you gotta acknowledge your past to become a better person. Well, as I'm focusing with the coral reefs, my favorite activity was when we visited the sea, where we, we do some coral walks to gather our data. And not only we work to find our data, but we also have fun watching these corals as there's many different colors, shapes, sizes, and it's actually really beautiful. So that's my favorite part. And it's also, I'm very grateful to do this with all my friends. Surprisingly, it was the data collection because since I was in the mangrove planting and we had several different spots and it was quite far from one another, my supervisor and I, we decided to rent an electric bike so that we could go, th uh, go to these spots and it was pretty fun. I'd have to say the field work was like data collection. For example, like I went to collect pH data in the con turtle conservatory. I quite enjoyed like uh, Going out in the field, walking around, doing yeah, collecting data and like the real world. But also, since this, this is an island that had quite nice scenery, so on, on the side of collecting data, you could also it felt like a holiday outside of just pure labor. Well, with this program, I've gained several new skills, such as adapting to new situations, new environments, uh, gaining new research methods and skills, and also improving my presentation skills, which ultimately will help me in my future career, especially in university and also in the workplace. Uh, this program, it, it went a lot better than I expected I would do. So, for example, with the certificate that I want, that would probably most likely help me with uh, the university requirements. It might help my portfolio. As for practical skills in general, it developed uh, collaborative skills, uh, working in teams, especially like a leadership role. I think I've developed uh, better leadership uh, abilities. I think that this program will be very helpful for me in the future as here I learn many things about leadership. I, I learn a lot of things about investigations. And other than that, I also learn about the nature here in Indonesia. And um, as I live here in Indonesia, I think it's important to know what is going on with the nature here in Indonesia. Um, to create a more sustainable lifestyle in our community, especially as this is regarding about the science collaborative project. We are here to aim for a more sustainable environment uh, lifestyle as well as helping the growth of the biodiversity here. So 
I think it will be a useful skill for our future. And then second, as for the leadership, I here I learned a lot on how to work better with my teammates, how to work collaboratively and um, to achieve the product that we presented in a short amount of time within three days. And lastly, we had so much fun.